after almost 35 years, we had found the person that had brutally raped, strangled, and bludgeoned Tracy Hammerberg to death. Ozaki County Sheriff Jim Johnson admits a man named Philip Cross wasn't even a suspect in this cold case until just a few months ago. Johnson says forensic scientists used DNA evidence from Tracy Hammerberg's body and compared it to public genealogy databases that thousands of people use to learn about their family history. The closest relative identified through the databases was a second cousin. Johnson says investigators spent months creating a family tree going back several generations, eventually matching that DNA to Cross, who was 21 years old at the time of the murder. In December of 1984, Tracy Hammerberg left to go to a party and she never returned home. Tracy's body was discovered naked from the waist down. An autopsy revealed the 18-year-old was raped and died from severe blows to her head. The Ozaki County Sheriff says Cross's job put him in the area where Hammerberg was that night. Cross's second shift employment at Rexnord would allow him to be in the Port Washington area at the time that Tracy left on foot from her friend's residence. While Johnson is pleased this cold case is solved after three decades, he wishes Cross were still alive to be held accountable. We had mixed, mixed uh, feelings on it. I wanted him to face greater justice. He stole Tracy's life. He was able to live the life that he wanted his way. Johnson says Cross died from a drug overdose in Milwaukee seven years ago. He had a lengthy criminal history, including domestic violence. Reporting outside the Waukesha County Sheriff's Office, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. This is Maple Road. We are just north of Grafton, and it's where investigators were called nearly 35 years ago after the body of Tracy Hammerberg was found in a driveway. 18-year-old Tracy Hammerberg was mysteriously killed in December of 1984. People who live near Maple Road don't want to be on camera, but after three decades, they still want to know what happened. To look back at the story, we had to go into the TMJ4 archives. Video from then shows the Ozaki County Sheriff's Office on Maple Road lined by snow. Tracy was found partially naked. An autopsy later revealed she died from severe blows to her head. The Sheriff's Office has not stopped working to get Tracy's family and friends answers. They even have a Facebook page where they regularly recognize Tracy's death anniversary and solicit tips. The Ozaki County Sheriff plans to announce that update along with the Attorney General tomorrow afternoon. In Ozaki County, Mary Joola, today's TMJ4. The young woman's body was found here in the driveway of a private residence in the town of Grafton. The owner of the home, Don Sirickey, found the body this morning while on his way to breakfast. The young woman's body was partially clothed, but investigators do not know if she was sexually assaulted. We have received a call early this morning of a body uh, laying on a private driveway. Uh, upon arrival of our officers, uh, we found a white female in her early 20s, uh, unidentified. The state crime lab was called in from Madison to aid the Osaki County Sheriff's Department in the investigation. There are no witnesses to what happened here early this morning, but a hunter in a tree stand noticed a car leaving the crime scene at a high rate of speed about 5.30. But because it was dark and the car had no lights on, the hunter could not provide officials with a description. Some footprints were apparently found near the body, but police would not comment. The victim has not been identified. She is a white female in her late teens or early 20s with reddish brown hair and brown eyes. She is 5 foot 3 to 5 foot 5 and weighs between 120 and 130 pounds. Investigators hope an autopsy planned for this evening will tell them how the young woman died and perhaps aid them in identifying her. Denise Calloway, News 4.
Friends said goodbye to 18-year-old Tracy Hammerberg today during a service at this Port Washington funeral home. The mourning made even more difficult by the questions that still surround her death a week ago. The Sockville woman's body was found in the driveway of a town of Grafton home. An autopsy shows she died of massive head injuries, and investigators are now confident Tracy Hammerberg was killed in the driveway where her body was found. In the last week, five law enforcement officials, including one from the State Justice Department, have been questioning and re-questioning friends and acquaintances of Tracy Hammerberg, hoping to find some break in this case. Evidence is now under analysis by the state crime lab, and results should be in next week. Detectives say that information could provide a fresh direction in the case. We think that there's uh, things that will be discovered there uh, scientifically that will help us tremendously. We certainly hope so. We still appeal to the community, uh, and we've been the appeal all along, and we still uh, want that uh, thought in mind in the community that we need their help, and uh, people have been calling. Many, many calls have been received. Everyone has been followed up on. People have been talked to two and three times over that we felt there was a need for. And uh, uh, there's a lot of manpower, a lot of, a lot of work being put in this, and we hope that it will be concluded uh, very shortly. No arrests have come yet, but such an effort is being given to this case that Ozaki County authorities are confident a break will come soon and that the person or persons responsible for Tracy Hammerberg's death are not drifters but most likely people who live in the area. In Port Washington, Lynn Sprangers, News 4. A tough day for friends and family of Tracy Hammerberg. Her funeral was held today in Port Washington, and her death leaves this community troubled. The 18-year-old Sockville woman's body was discovered in this town of Grafton driveway last Saturday. An autopsy revealed that Tracy Hammerberg died of severe blows to the head. The drive where she was found in was most likely the, the scene of the crime, where she, uh, where she was beaten and uh, subsequently died. Uh, unless new evidence would, would put us in a different direction, uh, we, we feel confident that was the place. The state crime lab is analyzing evidence collected at the scene, and Ozaki County authorities are also confident the results may produce fresh direction in this case. We think that there's uh, things that will be discovered there uh, scientifically that will help us tremendously. We certainly hope so. We still appeal to the community. Uh, I know we've been the appeal all along, and we still uh, want that uh, thought in mind in the community that we need their help. The Justice Department is assisting in the investigation, which authorities are calling a local crime meaning they believe the person or persons responsible for Tracy Hammerberg's death will probably be found in the area. Lynn Sprangers in Port Washington, News 4 Tonight.